the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, or FDIC. FDIC. The FDIC. The FDIC. The FDIC, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, was established during the Great Depression to restore our faith and our trust in America's banking system. But what does it do? Its job is to protect your deposits that you put in regulated banks. Regulated banks will have a sign that says FDIC insured, and it will also say what the, what the deposit limit is. The current cap is $250,000. The FDIC has a perfect record of, a, of protecting insured deposits. Not only that, but the policy has been, we did it every single time during the great financial crisis. You'll have access to your insured deposits within one business day if your bank fails. For those who have more than 250000 though, they should be aware that if the bank fails, they may not be protected. So how do banks turn a profit? Well, they keep a portion of the money you deposit as cash or reserves to handle those day-to-day -day withdrawals. But the majority of your money is invested, and it's invested in mortgages, car loans, treasury bonds, the list goes on. And they make their money from the interest that's earned on those investments. But sometimes banks do stupid things with your deposits. Yeah, doesn't happen very often, but sometimes it does. And that's why the FDIC is there. If the bank does stupid things with your deposits and loses too much money and becomes insolvent, the FDIC is going to swoop in and make sure that your insured deposits are whole. 